Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, not a date or time specific reading, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks you, could be your message at that time. Welcome cross watchers for Aries and for those of you who landed here for the first time, happy to have you join us. That's little Leo in the background. He's got a bit of the zoomies, so we're going to hope that he sorts himself out. Um, so I don't have to stop the reading and remove him from the premises. Okay, I'm going to pull, oh, um, quick note, Aries, last series of readings, you guys blew it out of the water, most improved, thousands of views, which is not common for my Aries readings, so I am going to be bringing you a bonus reading as a thank you, so keep an eye open for that probably within the next week. Um, so congratulations and thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, uh, I did do the June 2024 Love Tarot Monthly Energy Update. That was uploaded. Um, and there is a special private reading offer there. I think $75 off my regular rate. Um, there are only a handful of spots available. So go find that June 2024 reading and check it out and see if you can get a spot all right here we go priestess of light oracle to activate the reading we have a beautiful month of june that was one of my favorite monthly energy updates ever okay lovely card 49 achievement effort plus intention hmm i like this because we have the um new moon in gemini coming up uh, on the 6th of June and so to me that's where the intentions are set and the full moon will be in Capricorn which is effort right so there's a focus here on the polarity of um, in in the house of Gemini but then shifting into cancer season when we have the full moon in Capricorn so really lovely effort plus intention is achievement Okay. All right. So I'm just going to pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Four of Pentacles. A little self protection, maybe. What's crossing you here, King of Cups? So there may be something here where there could be some guarded energy coming from somebody um, who you feel very connected to on an emotional level. It could be your own guarded energy around this person. Ace of Wands in your unconscious awareness. There's something rising up, some divine gift of inspired passion that may not be completely in the forefront of your mind at this moment in the past wheel of fortune um that's jupiter's energy there's been a lot of um jupiter just moved into gemini so there's a shift in the energy of jupiter um, but it's talking about divine time okay fate karma destiny and in your conscious awareness right now the hanged man so there may be something that has grown a little stagnant here that you've sort of been counting on um, divine time to unfold and it hasn't yet but in the near future um, we do have a page of cups so there could be some message of love or apology coming your way let's jump in four of pentacles crossed by the king of cups eight of cups page of wands queen of swords um, I do get the impression that that Four of Pentacles is more your energy. It just feels to me like on some level, um, you're trying to stay optimistic. You could be curious or wondering, um, Queen of Cups, like a uh, Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, with some unanswered questions about what this person's agenda is. Um, you know, are they just kind of, I, I hate to say it with the Page of Wands landing on the Eight of Cups, you know, a hit it and quit it kind of a situation. So there could be some questions there, um, something you're trying to remain very level-headed about, but you're feeling some sense of guardedness around it. 
Let's look at the Ace of Wands in your unconscious awareness. The Sun, the Lovers, the Moon. You're feeling this connection internally and maybe not um, in a very conscious way. I feel like consciously nothing's happening, nothing's moving. Um, and so it leaves you to kind of retract a little bit, pull in a little bit, not sure what I'm dealing with here, but in your unconscious awareness, what you're processing is, I think this could, I think this is like a, a sacred connection. Uh, it could be a twin flame dynamic. It's, there's so much joy and passion and happiness, but with the moon deeply buried underneath, lots of um, apprehension around the situation and maybe feeling a little, um, shy around trusting your intuition in this matter hence the queen of swords nice and practical what it is is what it is so let's see the wheel of fortune in the past hermits queen of cups now we have the king and queen two of pentacles this is something you uh, i feel like this person since we have the hermit as well as this um eight of cups I'm feeling like this person has sort of veered off the grid a bit. Maybe is a little reclusive, a little quiet, hasn't been super accessible or approachable. Uh, you do feel connected to this person at the level of heart and soul and believe it is a fated, right? A destined connection, but you're kind of like, I don't know what I'm really dealing with here. So there's been this sort of energy of, um, stalling for time um, as you assess the situation let's look at the hanged man now in your conscious awareness justice knight of wands i guess what would feel fair to you is if there is some sort of motion and you're looking for um, manifesting some balance, some harmony to get something moving again that may have grown a bit stagnant. Um, interesting that it feels like you, um, you've you got this sense that something's off and yet you're still saying, well, what would really kind of um, re-level the playing field is if there was some action. And when I say action, I just mean like, um, a sense that this person is engaged, is motivated, uh, is feeling something very, um, even if it just comes through more as a chemistry situation, like you're looking for some signs of life. So that's what you're manifesting in the near future. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. King of Swords, now we have the King and Queen of Swords and the King and Queen of Cups. So you're a good mental match for each other. What I mean by that is like your thoughts, your processing, your logic, your communication styles, your intellect and reasoning all seem pretty fairly aligned. Um, that's why it's a good mental match. The Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups, someone coming in with a message from their heart and an offer of their emotional availability, vulnerability, um, King of Swords, though, it feels like it's not going to um, seem as warm and fuzzy. <coughs> Excuse me. The King and Queen of Swords um, are notoriously kind of skeptical, right? Um, they're not real super flowery. Just the facts, ma'am, kind of an energy between, uh, between you when it comes to communication. So even though, where did my, oh, even though the pages are messengers and this message that comes in is supposed to speak straight to the heart of how this person feels about you, they may present it in a somewhat non-emotional way. Okay, so we're talking about a style of communication and that may be very unsettling for you with the tower underneath in the back of your mind. What you're going to be feeling is a sense of, oh, this is not sustainable. This feels like this person is saying something that they really don't have their heart in. So you may 
continue to be skeptical about it, okay? So I'm seeing it as a positive, but I'm saying that on reserve, in your own unconscious awareness, you may process it as a bit um, unsettling. So uh, let me give you the astrology that showed up here, and then I'm gonna take it to the extended, and we're gonna look at our King of Cups in some further detail. King of Cups, King of Swords, that person, we're gonna look at them. Um, I, I really do kind of want to get a handle on mostly how they feel about you. Like, what is that at this moment? What's the, what are their feelings about being in relationship um, in terms of anything longer term? So I'm going to kind of just really focus on their view of you. That's what we're going to do. So we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pi uh, I'm sorry, Scorpio. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Swords is Libra. The Sun is the Sun, but that rules Leo. Lovers is Gemini. We're in Gemini season. The Moon is Pisces. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Hermit is Virgo, Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Um, Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules the sign of Pisces. Justice is Libra. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Our Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's what I was thinking of. Knight of Cups is Pisces. King of Swords is Aquarian energy. And the Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. So there you have it. That is what I have for you for now. Um, and I'm gonna take it to the extended. The links to that are below. There are two different, well, three different links. One is a monthly recurring uh, membership where you get a bunch of different um, extendeds other than just this one. And then there's the one time just for this one. So do check those out. And don't forget to go check out that um, June 2024 reading for the special, well, first of all, the reading is, really informative. So I hope that you find that helpful as well as the link to the special offer for, um, it's a Venus in the heart of the sun reading. So it's a special offer. Go check that out. Thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed this reading, if you like the readings and find them helpful, insightful, enjoyable, please subscribe below. That's how I reach more people just like you who are looking for some kind of clue as to what's happening in their connections. And don't forget to click the notification bell, like and share if you feel called to do so. Thank you as always for joining me and keep your eye out for that Aries bonus reading coming up soon. Bye for now.